What's up everyone, in this video we're going to set up ICE as a Radius server for FMC and FTD. Uh, I have already deployed FMC and FTD and we are using FMC to manage FTD, which means that all the changes we have to do on FMC. So let's begin the configuration on ICE by adding FMC and FTD as network devices. So on the menu, we go over administration, network devices, and let's add uh, first FMC. And it's going to be FMC IP address. And we want to enable radius. So now let's type the shared secret DCI 65745. And let's save this. And now let's add FTD. We we'll name it FTD and the management IP it's 27. And we want to enable radius as well. So now submit this. Okay, next we're going to create two authorization profiles so that we can differentiate administrators versus network operators or a different role or profile that we want assigned to uh, an admin. So let's go on the menu, um, policy, results, and authorization, authorization profiles. And we're going to add admin, uh, authorization profile and here we want to use the radius attributes um, class you can just search for class we want to use these attributes and we'll type the the string that we will use to match on FMC side so in this case going to type administrators so the class is going to be administrators okay let's submit this and we're going to add another one for operators so let me confirm that let's just continue profile problem using operators and here the attributes will be the same so it's radius and class 25 and the string will be operators okay so let's submit this and confirm so here i'm using admin instead of admins let me replace that okay I can save this okay that's great now we're going to create two user groups one for full administrators and another one for network operators so let's click on the menu administration groups and let me see if I have it uh, user identity groups I'm going to use this group firewall admins and firewall operators and we're going to create two users and associate to those groups so the first one will be Celesio let me type the password and I'm going to associate this user to firewall admins uh, we're going to add another one that's going to be Carvalho and let me type the password and Carvalho will be part of firewall operators group done now let's create the policy to authenticate and authorize the administrators so we go on menu policy policy sets and we're going to use the default policy set as for authentication we're going to use the default identity store 
and we're going to add two additional authorization policies so i'm going to click on plus and the first rule will be authorization rule uh, for administrators and the conditions will be uh, it must be a user uh, that is part of the firewall admin groups let me close this i want to select identity group identity group name and that's going to be for firewall admins so if a user is part of firewall admins the profile assigned will be admins authorization profile i'm going to duplicate this row and add the rule for operators and we're going to change the identity group name uh, to firewall operators we have to remove these okay and let's use this one and the authorization profile will be operators authorization profile and there is a typo there anyway this is going to work and we can save this policy okay this is done now let's uh leave this on live logs and we can move to firepower fmc okay so now let's add eyes as an external authentication server so we'll click on external authentication and we're going to click on add new uh, external objects external authentication objects So authentication method we're going to select the radius and the name will be ice we're going to type uh, ice IP address 21 and the secret key must match what we define on ice so this is 65745 now on radius specific parameters this is where we type the same name we typed on the authorization profile. So just to make sure we don't make any mistake, let's take a look at admin authorization profile and we look at the class. So this string must match on the profile we want to be assigned to the user and the other one should be uh, operators and let me get class operators but this way uh we are sure that it won't have any typos and let's select network admin so we have less privilege than network administrator and the default user role will be uh, read only okay so we can test this oh uh, trying with the user Celesia and let's test and the test was successful awesome so we can save this and we should see these on a uh, radius logs and we see Celesio user and it is matching the authorization policy for administrators okay so now let's enable these save and apply now let's apply the changes okay so let me bring another browser and we'll try to log in um, as Carvalho and Carvalho should have uh, limited access so we can see Carvalho was able to log in so he's able to 
perform some operations but not as many as an admin and we can see here Carvalho was authenticated and authorized based on authorization profile okay and now let's log out and try to log in as Celesio Okay, and was successfully authenticated. And Celeste should have more privilege. It looks like something isn't right. But let's confirm that everything is in place here. Which role was assigned to Celesia? So it should be administrators. It looks like not hitting our policy let's just confirm this move the blank space there okay save these so, so this should be an administrator let's confirm the authorization policy as well no admins authorization policy should work and let me confirm let me just save and apply this and we're going to log out now and another field that I want to test is here the user so it's falling on this category so let's try once again. Okay, now it's working as it's supposed to. Now it looks like he's an admin. So it should be able to make changes. So let's see. Okay. And now he's an administrator. Okay, that's what we want. And let me confirm whether we're using security analyst. Let's check what do we have for network operators. And that should be network admin. Okay, I haven't seen. So Carvalho shouldn't be a security analyst. So let's test this from here and see what is going to be the return. Okay. So it's matching class operators and the class operator is matching. So we look at the logs. be operator's authorization profile okay uh, let's save this and although there are no changes to be applied just want to make sure that everything is okay okay let's save and apply those changes and we're going to log out and try to log in again as Carvalho. Okay. That looks better. So Carvalho should be a network admin. He shouldn't have access to security policies. So now it's working. And if we look at settings we are not allowed to so let's look from this browser and let's check again so Carvalho should be a network admin and now it's working as it's supposed to 
now let's see can we access this using cli so let's try to log in on fmc 43.6 okay and basically we are not allowed to access so there are some changes that we have to make first so let's go back to external authentication and here we have to enable uh, CLI access using eyes so on show authentication we want to enable and let's save for now now let's also add which administrators uh, should be allowed to log in on CLI and we're just going to add Celesia so we're going to save this change okay let's save and apply now let's try again login has Celesio and we are inside okay so ID Celesio now if we try to log in as Carvalho we won't have success so okay so it's not working because we're not allowing Carvalho to log in on CLI now another change we have to make is to allow these admins to log in on FTD and right now FTD uh, is not allowing administrators to log in using eyes so let's make this change by going on devices platform settings and let's edit external authentication and we want to make ftd use eyes as an external authentication let's save this change is the link to please enable different external external authentication associated with external authentication is deleted so probably uh we have to deploy previous change uh let's see all devices are up to date so let's try again go on devices platform settings edit external authentication let's enable this okay now it's working okay now let's deploy this on ftd and we want to deploy so this will take a couple of minutes i'm going to pause the video and once it finished we're going to continue okay now let's try to log in again on ftd so we know Carvalho won't be allowed, so let's change to Silesia. And we are inside FTD, so ID, who am I? So that's it. And so let's confirm these on eyes. And we can see that we were successfully authenticated on FTD as well. So that's it, guys. Uh, deploying eyes as a radio server for FMC and FTD. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.